This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Honda CRV. It is a 2005 Honda CRV XESE, -E, uh, which is the loaded up version. Uh, SE is for special edition. It's four wheel drive. Um, it is very low miles, 78,071 actual miles. It's a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Bakersfield, California, and it is on a clear title. We brought it here after we bought it. My guys do an inspection, they hand me this. Uh, awesome SUV, extremely low miles, very well maintained. All we did do it was a detail, and we uh, uh, made a board that was supposed to go under the cargo carpet. We couldn't buy a used one, we couldn't buy a new one, so we had to make one. Um, I'm not sure why the person stole that, but uh, they did. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful car. This is, uh, this will speak for itself. It's got some Bridgestones on it. I would say the Bridgestone tires on the front look like they're probably 80 or 90% tread. The rears look like they're probably 50 or 60% tread. Um, just a really nice car. Really, really nice car. Um, I've been telling people in videos, last couple months I've been buying some uh, more gas vehicles than usual, more under $10,000 vehicles. Uh, I've got teenage kids who both are in high school and uh, their parents, uh, their friends' parents, are always asking about cars for them and, and for their kids and even uh, some daily drivers for themselves. And uh, diesel trucks usually don't work out for that stuff. That's more of a heavy duty usage. And uh, so I've kind of uh, given into that and it's working out pretty well for everybody. This is an interesting thing on these cars. This, this tire rack on the back is, an, uh, is a big option add, which kind of makes it the SE version. Uh, let me show you real quick underneath here. So we had to make this board. The plastic thing was gone and you can't buy one. So we went down to Home Depot and made one. This is normally where the spare tire goes on one of these, right there, all right? Um, real quickly, I'm gonna go through uh, some of the paperwork we have on this car. Here's the Kelly Blue Book for a, a CRV SE with 78,000 miles. Kelly Blue Book is really low on this car. I think it's a crazy number. $8,114 with a range of $61.69 to $83.46. That's crazy low in my opinion. Here's the uh, Carfax. Uh, they blend the Carfax and the uh, Kelly Blue Book, Carfax does, and they come up with a value that I think is more realistic of $92.30. Um, here is the uh, Carfax itself. There's the VIN, no accidents reported, no damage reported. Last reported reading was $74,809. That was an oil change. We did this Carfax today. Actually, no, it was yesterday, 7:10. I did this late yesterday. 7:10. Today is 9:11. Uh, uh, so I guess I hadn't gotten back from detail yet when I printed this. So it was in Bakersfield, right? Ba -ba -ba. There's that last service, got an oil change. It was, uh, let's see, reported stolen 514, 19, and then they sold it to us uh, 817 of 19. Okay, here's the title from the state of California. There's the VIN. It was issued to USAA, which figures it's a military owned car, that's why it's so clean. Um, it was issued to USAA 718 of 19, okay? And so there's USA on 830 with 78,701 selling it to Wheel Kinetics. Okay, so now you've seen the uh, the uh, paperwork we have on this. Like I said, the, the most important thing in this in, in our videos and in our, in our whole business is to make sure that there's uh, a lot of transparency. Uh, it can't go. Most of our vehicles, probably 60 or 70 percent, will uh, be paid for by wire and ship out of state. It can't go to Minnesota and then be the opposite of what we said it was. Uh, we gotta show you what it is, we gotta prove it, uh, and whatever's wrong, we have to tell you, or there's gonna be drama, and we don't do drama. Right now, there's 78,084 miles on the car, okay? I love opening up hoods that don't have hood struts, so I gotta put my head in here, use my head as a hood prop for about five seconds. So I lean in, get the hood prop, and then I go like that. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, thing looks brand new, man. This is crazy. 
this is a, I love cars like this. These are fun. There's the bin right here. Here's the original stickers on the front of the hood. So you know all this front end stuff is original, which you like to see. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to get this hood down without killing myself. There we go. Pretty car, really pretty car. I'll bet the person who had this stolen was really bummed. They spent a lot of time taking care of this thing. Obviously it lived indoors at night. Look at the seats. I mean, there's nothing going on there. This little center console, you can fold it down. You hit this and you can have a little pass through there, right? Look at the dash. I'm brand new. Make sure there's no surprises under the carpet. And there's not. Got all the original masks, the whole bit. Bin there. Should be two more bins. Should be a bin there. And should be a bin right. Yep, there's one there. If you wanted to put the seats forward, all you have to do is do that. And then it'll fold up one more time. I think everyone knows how that works. All right, should be another bin right there, and there is, and right there, and there it is. Window, holy cow, this thing's clean. Yep, wow. Impressive, another bin there. There's your uh, federal bin stamp tire stamp, window, 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 mirror out, in, up and down, other side, out, in, up and down, let's see what else we got going on here, got a tilt wheel, like that, right, we got a roof, that all right what else we got going on here well we got some air conditioning i'm gonna enjoy it's still pretty damn hot in tucson get a seat belt on here there we go all right radio on now the air is just storming in here let me turn the air down a little bit let's see there's the radio changing. You can also do it from here. Now match with the steering wheel. Volume up. Up from here. Alright, so there's your radio. Six is changer. Old school cassette player. That's kind of an interesting little unit right there. We've got uh, heated seats. Driver and passenger heated seats. That was unusual back then. Let's see. Lights. Boom there all right i think we're ready to go for a ride all right if you come to tucson and drive this thing home which you're welcome to do this would be a hell of a nice car to drive home in uh you will pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollars dock fee if you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. If you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. All right? You'll have the uh, CRV shipped to you. Uh, once the CRV shows up, you already have the title in the mail. Once the CRV shows up by your shipper, you'll just go to Motor Vehicles and get some plates. It's very simple. Uh, what's next? Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. At that point, uh, we will uh, put your name in a banner over the vehicle at wheelkinetics.com, and you and the rest of the world will know it's yours. Very important to get that deposit in. This is a really nice, low-mile car. It's what everybody's looking for. Trust me, I get hounded for cars like this. Um, so make sure you get it, get it deposited and get it done quickly. 
Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Last part of the of this video, I have to say this even though it's kind of pointless on this car because it's such a nice car, but uh, I've done, I don't know, thousands and thousands of videos. The last two or three minutes are all the same. We don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay them, so you're not paying for salesmen in the price of the vehicle. You're not paying for a latte or a, or a snack or game room or bottle of water with our name on it like you are at the auto mall which is about a mile east of us here uh, you're not paying for a zip code we're in the industrial area you just saw that uh, they're over there next to the uh, mall and uh, they got to pay for that too so you're paying for that and the price of the car they also know that if they sell you a car and it breaks you're gonna, they're gonna have to fix it well we're not gonna pay you're not paying for that with us because we're not fixing your car uh, if it breaks the day you get it you're fixing it all this money you're saving uh, adds up to many, 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 many dollars saved, and therefore you can fix your own car, okay? Um, that being said, it's kind of ridiculous on this car. Uh, this car is not gonna break unless you run it into a wall. Uh, I don't see this thing breaking for hundreds of thousands of miles if you change the fluids and the filters. Um, in fact, right here it says the next uh, oil changes do at 79,800 miles. So I would say that uh, you're good to go uh, on this vehicle for quite some time as long as you keep it out of the ditch all right um, but we have to say that because you never know I mean you could get it and the day you get it maybe a window motor decides not to work or the radio decides not to work and uh, if we were to call us and say I want some money for that we would say no so you got to know that going in if that doesn't work for you you got to stay away from everything we have because we don't have a single car for you but if that does work for you if you understand our business plan and you appreciate the uh, transparency, then it's awesome, all right? I think that's about it. Let me uh, get back to the shop here. Everyone wants to go home, but I have one more video to do. So I gotta kinda hurry. Everyone's ready to take my head off right about now. This road right here that we're on is horrific. I don't know if you can tell through the video how bad this road is, but listen. This car is tight as a drum, man. I love this car. <laughs> I could get addicted to this. I drive that little uh, Matrix over there. Uh, people wonder why when I have all these cool cars, you know, like the Cayenne, why I drive that? Because I just like little cars that I can trust. This is this would be a good one. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. All right, thank you for your time.